we're going to do a reading at the, sh we're going to talk about the shock of certain people at the lack of education slash what they're actually teaching in school, what are the kids getting out of it, and what is a certain generation like as a result. Now, we're not going to blame it. It's eerie. We're not going to blame it, ergo. Somebody didn't know what that meant. We're not going to blame it on school. Maybe we'll go more towards, I'm being pulled towards, you don't even want to be educated. Is that how you spell ergo? E R G O? I E and ergo. How funny is that? For example, that's what ergo means and I E. That's so crazy. They mean the same shit. Someone's name could be, uh oh. I'll put it in the jar. Tell your dad to put it in there. You can tell him my tip jar is at philosophical. My. my <laughs> <laughs> Someone's name could begin with the letter E. Tell me about this education and how could you possibly have a seat on the board this way? Yep. Yeah, Scorpio. Can't. I won't do that. Uh uh. Yeah, you're right. That shit with the IV, that's not a black thing. That That's an uneducated thing. It has nothing to do with, with black people. Okay, this is, I've heard it from everybody but Asian, really. And Native American, so it's basically white, black, and Hispanic. For me personally, has been my experience with that. I've even said some things also. I've said some things that way. I'm not sure if it's that uh, can, can no. mirroring someone around me or if it's just things that have come out of my mouth just because. But this is shock awareness. Uh, oh my god. The Im it's called it's imbalance. Well, well, it will cause an imbalance in your life. You will never get hired speaking a certain way. In certain situations or environments, you won't. This is also can't change a tire. It goes deeper than just not speaking well. You wouldn't be able to get a job at an auto body shop the way that you are right now. And you want to, and this is someone who claims to be a prophet or that they predict things. Pre <laughs> you couldn't read other people, they're illiterate. You couldn't even read a book. Let's just say there was a book of predictions. Nostradamus. You wouldn't be able to read that. There's no end in sight when it comes with this because now what happened was it started out in my, this is my belief. It started out with a certain generation wanting to choose another lifestyle, thinking that that was going to carry them through. And then that lifestyle is falling apart due to betrayal and, and fentanyl. Now, the education system, I, I wouldn't even want to be a teacher in the times that we're in. This shit just, it's all the way around now. I believe that it started with teachers not being respected and feeling like they weren't getting any fulfillment out of what they were doing. If you, if when, when I did roofing, I cared about how the roof looked afterward. It, it was rewarding that job. I got something out of it. It, I didn't mind the hard days because I could go back and look and see what I did. There was a good result. As a teacher, you spend all your time with your syllabus and all the planning and and projects, tests. To have 90% of your class fail, that does something to you mentally. Whether you know it's your fault or not, I can't even imagine what it must feel like to have, not only to have to deal with blatant disregard for how hard you worked and the education and what you paid for to get there, but just the, the disrespect that comes with a lot of inner city schools. 
there's no reward in it anymore. It's, we don't care anymore. If they don't care, why am I? You can't care more, and that's the problem probably. That becomes a codependent relationship, right? When you care more about how someone lives their life or how well they're doing in life than your own self. Now, as a teacher, someone said this too, it feels like a codependent marriage I have where my husband or my wife on the other side, I care more about their happiness than my own. There are teachers right now that are going to walk out of classroom because they can't take it anymore. You would be better off, some of you have YouTube channels, put everything that you have into that or Instagram, your cooks, you have certain recipes or you have these DIY. You, I think a lot of people, when they start platforms and channels, they think they have to do one subject. It's very rare that you find a platform where there's multiple things where you have someone that, oh, I forgot, I, I make a badass casserole, quiche, whatever the hell it is for you. And then you also have this funky way of fixing your car where most people wouldn't know. Maybe a um, universal channel majority I want to show you what they're putting they're doing more damage than good because you're angry going to work now the majority of the teachers don't want to do this anymore the whole system is crashing I would just crash with it you may have to downsize a little bit you have savings or it'll be good for you Daniel Yeah, that I'm upset. It it feels like the same thing when I got upset. Well, I didn't really get upset, but I am now thinking of priests and nuns who spent their entire life serving a being, and it's it, the world is just getting worse by the day. It's disheartening. Yeah, it is. But silver lining, uh, silver lining type of bee, right? You still have your life. You're not. Your life isn't over. Yeah, there's a nun taking off her habit. Live your life the way you want to. I have to stop this one. I'll be right back. I want to talk about what this Daniel. You could, are you a, um, an earth sign, sir? Virgo, possibly, or I want to talk about you. Before time, you're meant to be with someone. Are you? Let's talk about who you're supposed to be with. You could be in the same vicinity, neighborhood, coffee shop I just heard. Uh, OS, this could be Sonia, Sophia, Sunny, M-E. Uh, Sammy? Yeah, S M Y, Sammy. I need some more you, some more of you. That's what somebody says. This is the coffee shop guy. Would you like some more? I need some more of you. We need some more of women like you. That's who you're you're destined to be with or do. This could even be a business partnership. I don't think it's that. Um, it feels like feeling like one. Don't feel like one. Yeah. You didn't get into that line of work because you knew that it was going to happen like this. That would make you an ass. That's like I say, heroin addicts who know how bad it is now or fentanyl, intentionally starting fentanyl now knowing that you're, you're not going to live past a year possibly. That That's feeling like an ass. So. All right, I'm going to pause this. Mark, I, I just want to say to the teachers and the nuns and the priests, I, I hope nobody took any offense to anything that I said. And for those of you who want to leave that, whatever that is you were doing, and pursue something different or just be for a while, I wish you the best of luck in whatever it is that you do.
One more. We're only on 10 minutes. Guide. This immediately I'm getting that somebody's being guided to do something in particular. Give me the name, please. Give me some letters. You're being guided to tell your story or to tell someone else's story. P.U. P.I. HIPAA. Yeah. And I see pupil too, but. P I I. Oh, the word peace is P I I C. Let me see what P I I L would be. They don't have that. We'll go with that. Someone's being guided to go more towards bringing peace into a situation, I guess, than chaos. And I know this seems pretty general. If you're feeling spiders crawling in you, or you feel like something's crawling, you need to terminate nanobots that are moving around inside of you. Behind the curtain. Being guided, yeah to go through the struggle and learn the lesson. For someone else, you're being guided to clean up your backyard. You have too much free time. And it's getting you at night. Yeah, I, I don't feel trouble, but that's what's going to happen eventually. Yeah, you used to be a real love. This came out in reverse this Knight of Cups. You could be just sitting and drinking and stuff because you have too much time on my hands. Are you waiting for something? That's what it is. I found that when I sit there and wait for something, it takes forever and maybe stay busy. Libra or Taurus. Did your wife leave? This is an earth angel here. What happened? You're very stressed out about this. You're getting older since she left. Oh, did she pass on? I'm so sorry. I'm speaking to a man whose wife passed on. She's. This is coming from her. Please, you're smoking, you're drinking, and look, this is your choice. This is what you do. You don't want to get out of bed anymore. And when you're smoking before you even get out of bed, I please start moving around in some way. Uh, I would try even listening to frequencies to clear your lungs. I think she's real concerned about your lungs. COPD, on, you already had that. Oh, that's not, this isn't crack to me. This is um, a crack... Let lower left ventricle. There's something wrong with that. Your heart, your lungs, and everything. Organ cleanse frequency. Yeah. Did you already get a diagnosis? It feels like you're going to be <clears throat> passing on soon. Oh, she's more concerned about where you're going afterward. Okay, let's get some of these. I don't think this is just for... Hell is actually real. I've seen it. You still have a little bit of time to make something right. You will discover new strength in an ongoing battle. Someone was diagnosed with this shit and they're not telling anybody and you're dealing with it in a very angry way. 
the accountability that you need to take is the fact that you've become real lazy and you're just sitting there. You have plenty of things around your home you can be doing. And uh, I don't know if she was the kind of woman that... She, y yep, this woman didn't really tell you. She was afraid of you in some way. When you drank, you got arrogant. And she regrets not being more stern with you, is what I feel. Poise. Uh, I don't feel poison. Got poise. Uh, this is awesome. Gout. G O U T. Yeah, there we go. Get down. What's the synonym for poise? Equilibrium, gracefulness, balance, steady oneself. Okay. Is gout have anything to do with circulation? That's why she's talking about your heart too. It's not moving. Sitting with your legs crossed a lot is messing with your circulation blue. Whatever that is. Oh my God, no. She saw you. Okay, you must be special in the spirit realm and you just, you have karma to clear up. All right, we all do. And I believe that she says there's a point every night you actually stop breathing for a while. You die multiple times during the night while you're sleeping. Now, there's another man, or this is the same, that sleeps with some type of thing on his face to breathe. And you have somebody that you're with, if this is a replacement for this wife, it's, I don't want to say anything rude, but I think I just did. Uh, she's squeezing it, or even tying something around the hose where you can't see it. She's trying to kill you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ever since she moved on, this has just been a... Uh, yeah, I can tell you really miss her. Okay. You a Christian? Are you arguing with people from your church too? This woman has brought a lot of... Uh, and I think that the reason you stay around her is because she's angry like you are. And, and it almost justified you being angry. But it's getting out of control. I don't even feel like the two of you argue. It's more of a silent anger, silent we can't stand each other. And then what happens is when you leave the house, you wind up a a arguing or just... I, you know what I feel? You don't... If someone says something, even if you agree with it, you'll disagree because you're, you're making up for... The, it's the lack of arguing or the lack of communication that you're having with this woman is being had with others and I just feel like you're going to wind up dying, I don't think she thinks you're going to die alone sir but she doesn't want you to die miserable okay, I'm going to leave it at that and just upload, see ya